Welcome to our coverage of ASU Volleyball. On my left side is Troy Lynch yeah. and I'm Zach Pocklip. We're going to talk about ASU's right side and some of the problems Jason Watson's trying to figure out there. But before we get into the who's and the what's, I want to ask you, Troy, why is the right side so important for the Sun Devils? Well, every position is important in volleyball because it, it's just such a team sport. Mm -hmm. But what really makes the opposite position kind of unique is that it takes pressure off the middle blocker and the outside hitter. Mm -hmm. So let's kind of just like put this into perspective. Let's say the opposite, you know, they're doing well. Let's say like Brielle Bailey's doing well mm -hmm. and she consistently gets... Uh, some kills, you know, she's doing well. Uh, and we have Whitney Follett at the middle and Macy Gardner, all right? So you got three options for Bianca Ariano, all right? So it kind of just makes the opposing blockers, it makes them guess a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, because you don't exactly know where the ball's going to go. But let's say Brielle Bailey is struggling a little mm -hmm. bit. So they're going to put more of their attention on Whitney Follett and Macy Gardner because, let's be honest, they get set <laughs> the most. Very true. All right? So... They're going to shift their blockers, focus more of their attention on Whitney and Macy. So, but if Real Bailey can start finding her system mm -hmm. again, then the offense, is, uh, the offense is way more balanced, and it just makes a better volleyball team in general. That's right. When Bailey is getting going, it's a wide-open uh, type of thing. Not as many blockers are on Macy, Whitney, and uh, Mercedes Bins. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to ask you, because you said Real Bailey is struggling a little bit. She's trying to find her groove. Coach Watson did put in Madison McDaniel against mm -hmm. Colorado to try to find something from that right side. They also have Quinn Johnson as a, listed as an opposite. Who's going to be the answer for the Sun Devils moving into this last half of Pac-12 play? Well, it's not going to be Quinn Johnson. And I only say that because she hasn't really seen the court at all this mm -hmm. season. And when she is in, she hits in the negative. So that's not the answer that Never Coach Watson <laughs> really wants. And then the second option would be, but it's not going to be the answer, Madison McDaniel mm -hmm. and Madison McDaniel she was recruited as a setter yeah so and she's listed as a setter on the roster exactly she's listed as a setter but coach Watson just decided to put her in mm -hmm. you know and she's still trying to get her feet wet but when we were talking with coach Watson the other day he said that she wasn't really producing mm -hmm. uh, offensively as much as he really wanted yep. to see yeah. from her so Madison McDaniel is not the answer so the answer the only option left is Brielle Bailey. Mm -hmm. I mean, Brielle Bailey, she's tall. She puts up a really big block, and she's really good when she mm -hmm. is like in her system. Yep. She is in a slump right now, but I think if she finds her rhythm like, at least soon, that's yeah. going to benefit the Sun Devils for the national tournament coming up. And then let's not forget, Bailey is a great option. She's six foot four, puts mm -hmm. up a great block for the Sun Devils, and when she's on her rhythm, she hits a very heavy ball, and some uh, Bianca Ariano loves seeing from that position. But we'll see what uh, plays out the rest of the month of November. They had a lot of a much better October mm -hmm. uh, than last That's season. True. That's very so true. So we'll see what happens in a month. But that does it here for us. For Troy Lynch, I'm Zach Pocklip. Thanks for watching.